Yeah. Well, let's good. let's talk about this project. Let's yeah. let's get to the reason why you're here. Yeah. Before my next statement. That thing right there, mm -hmm. mixtape hosted by the Lakers. Uh, really just a little midpoint between the album and the last mixtape that we put out. You know what I mean? And try to differentiate the two. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And kind of just give my fans a feeling of what a mixtape should feel like for me and what an album is gonna feel like for me from here on out. You know what I mean? Right. So are these all tracks that didn't make the album, or what's mm -hmm. the deal with that? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Really, I just when I took the Atlanta, I took the Atlanta trip. I had about seven days down there. I made about nine songs off of there, mm -hmm. um, like out there in Atlanta. So. Really, that was just like us figuring out, okay, we want to get a fan something else before we got a year. I think I worked too hard and do too many songs, like, you know what I mean, on a regular for us not to put out two projects in a year this year. So I was like, why not? Let's just throw one out there. Right, so when so I was... That's what this was. Yeah, going through it is a lengthy mixtape. So that's why I was like, yeah, it's definitely got to be some joints that didn't make the album. Yeah. So with this one, it kind of feels like a step up, but it's kind of like a parallel step as well whenever yeah. it comes to the different tracks that I was going through it. I haven't had a chance to sit down and listen to it front to back, yeah. but the joints that you did hear just now are the ones that I like. Definitely like the Slay. hands joint. Like, yeah, yeah. For sure. Like, Slade did that. Shout out Slade out in Atlanta too. That's the homie. But uh, yeah, nah, this one, I just wanted a bigger sound, kind of tackle some of the beats that everybody got kind of going on, you know what I mean, on mm -hmm. airwaves and like the mainstream songs that are going on. So I figured why not try to get on that same frequency a little wave enough that they be on to figure out if we can still, you know what I mean, hang Bye. in and have that kind of flow that a match with that. So definitely just, you know what I mean, had a lot of fun just tampering in and out of songs this time, you know what I mean? And beat selection was way different from the statement, you know, you know what I mean? So we just had fun this time. And I like trap beats a lot, so. Uh, <laughs> Miami was cool. It was straight, you know what I mean? You get to drink liquor on the beach, so that's always oh, yeah. cool. There's, a, there's also something else that's unrestricted on the beach. Did you see it? Nah. You didn't see the boobies on the beach? Oh, nah, because by the time I got there, it was like 1 o'clock at night. You can hardly see stuff. Oh, That's you like, weren't looking hard enough. Exactly. I mean, I went to South Beach, and whenever I, I went, I, I mean, not me personally, but whenever we went to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the beach. Look, look, I mean, my boobs. My boobs, <laughs> my boobs stayed restricted, okay? They did not come out of the shirt, but South right, Beach right, was, right. that was the place to go whenever yeah. you needed to see something. It was cool, though. You know what I mean? Me and uh, little homie Casey. Casey Bates was out there with us, uh, Pack did. That's really where we went down there mm -hmm. for it to, you know what I mean, kind of make a little power move for the West one time. But it was cool. It was a good little, it was a good trip. I like Miami a lot. First time I went was with my big brother, my big brother in the studio. Shout mm -hmm. out to Sire. But, I, but, but so uh, what what is the future hold for Scheme at this point? Because it's um, just kind of it's kind of like you're sticking to your guns whenever it comes to not being one of those rappers that decides to go mainstream. Yeah, you know you're what doing saying. what you do. You're staying true to yourself at this point. So what do we got coming out for 2012? If, um, it, if, this, God, if God doesn't uh, do it, you know, in our lives right? on New Year's Eve. Right, right, Man. right. You know, the uh, shout out to Mayans because that was cool. That Allah. we predicted our you know our, the end of our lives and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, we were kind of brutal. But you know what I'm saying. But uh, <laughs> nah, just in general, man. We just we just at the same level. We just gonna keep doing us and, and putting it in more and more people's faces and ears, just letting them know that we still doing us. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a matter of changing up the format. It's just a matter of letting more people know that this is what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So with every table, with every video that we putting out, it's just getting a broader and broader audience every time. So you know what I mean? That's what I'm about right now. It's just expanding the reach. Um, other than that, nothing's changing. Like you know what I mean? As far as what we rapping about, or who we rapping for, like it's not gonna change. Nothing.